When one looks at a typical textbook, one will see a, some prehistoric pond and molecules, and those molecules coming together and forming a cell, and those cells coming together and some slithering creature coming out of this pond. That is fallacious. There is no truth in that. We don't even know how to make the molecules. We are lost on how to do this. We can't even make the basic building blocks. But even if we could, even if we could, from biological, from prebiotic type environment to make these, with all the intellect that we put into this, even if we could make them, we have no idea how to assemble them. You say, well, we can make the liposome, the cell membrane. We cannot. There's over 40,000, over 40,000 lipids have been identified in cell membranes. You want to take some simple ones? It's not just individual lipid membranes. You have to have the inside and the outside of the membrane have to be different. You have to have this huge array of proteins that transmembrane proteins, and you have to have carbohydrates on the surface as identifiers, even in the simplest bacterium. We have no idea how to put the structure together. It's not there. So not only do we not know how to make the basic components, we do not know how to build the structure even if we were given the basic components. So the, the Gedanken experiment is this, even if I gave you all the components, even if I gave you all the amino acids, all the, prote all, all the protein structures from those amino acids that you wanted, all the lipids in the purity that you wanted, the DNA, the RNA, in, even in the sequence that you wanted. So I'm even giving you the code. And so now I say, and all the nucleic acids, can you now assemble a cell here in your individual bodies, not in your individual laboratories, not in a, a, in a, a prebiotic cesspool, but in your nice laboratory? And the answer is a resounding no. And if anybody claims otherwise, they do not know this area.